Hey guys, Bondo here. Um, I'm going to show you what we're doing on the dump truck project. If you haven't seen the first video, go back and watch that. But this is a dump truck that we're building here. This thing started out life as a Freightliner FL60. Um, it was a fire ambulance, a fire rescue ambulance. And this is what it looks like right now in its current state. Um, I got to do some painting in the hood, put the grill in it. I bought a new grill. But we painted it up. It's got a Cummings engine in it. Um, it's a 24 valve Cummings engine. It's got an Allison transmission in it. Uh, of course, there's no emissions or nothing on this truck. But like I said, check out the first video. But if you're watching this build series, what we're going to work on this time for this series here, this video is I'm going to work on this toolbox. So I bought that toolbox used because when we put this dump bed on here, it was short and I didn't want to move the axle ahead and go through all that and uh, push this box up to the cab. So instead of doing all that, we left a gap there and I found this box used and uh, it was on a state truck. So it, you know, it's got some shelving in it and stuff, but it's not to the way I want it and the way I like it. So we're going to open that thing up, take the shelves out of it, and I'm going to put my own shelves in it. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. Um, everybody liked this truck build, so they want to see me working on it some more. Um, can't pour concrete in the winter. It's snowing out right now. So we're in the shop working on the truck. I got quite a bit more work to do on this thing, so I'll try to keep you posted. I threw some boards up in here, ash, ash planks, playing them down to two inches thick. Um, they were, uh, we added these pieces here that are going to hold the wood in they're removable too so you can dump you know if you had a shorter loader you could dump in the sides or you didn't really need that height but stay tuned that's what i'm going to work on uh, for this video is i'm going to revamp this toolbox on this dump truck stay tuned so here's the box guys and this is how it came um, it's got some shelves inside of here like they built like a kind of a little rack out of two by fours to hold it. And there was a bunch of rebars in here. Must be like they use them for dividers. There was some right here too. So maybe they could slide things in between them. Um, that's not how I want it. So I'm going to tear all that out and do something different. Just maybe put some shelves in there. That's what I'm going to do today. Kind of got spoiled with Torx head bits, guys. These are Phillips head bits. So there's one down here that's stripped and one right in there that's stripped. So I'm going to have to like grind the heads off to get them off. The old Phillips heads don't work too good. Like I said, we're kind of spoiled nowadays with the Torx head bits. Okay guys, um, got all the wood out of this thing. As you can see, I'm starting to clean it up. 
Uh, it's got some oxidation here. There was some metal straps here that held some toolboxes that were down here. And they put some metal straps on the inside to bolt through. And uh, the dissimilar metals didn't like each other. And you can see what it does. That's why you want to put like rubber or something between um, metal and aluminum when you're building stuff. But these pieces here, these welds, are actually burned through from when we repaired the bottom. If you watched the last video, there's some cross members that go underneath here. Well, actually, I can show you right here, these cross members. And we did some repairs. My buddy Daryl welded along here because they were all cracked. You can see the new welds. And uh, that's what's burning through up here. I'm just going to take a grinder and try to clean them up a little bit. We knew that was happening when we welded it, when Daryl welded it, but no big deal. I'm just going to flatten them out. I'll probably end up putting something down on top of here. Um, maybe a piece of rubber or another piece of plywood or something. I'm not sure. Just to stiffen it up. That's what I'm going to do now. Clean this up. All right, guys, I got stuff cleaned up pretty good. I got these welds ground down where they burnt through. Uh, I have the shelf ones out of this thing. I'm gonna sand it down a little better and clean it up a little better, but I showed you that oxidation. I'm gonna sand that a little better, but right now I gotta get rid of all the wooden stuff that was in there. So it's most of it's junk, so. I got a pretty good idea what I'm going to do with it. A real good idea what I'm going to do with it. Right in there. I'm going to light this up and show you how good this is going to burn. I got a nice Bud Light box in there to get her started. Hmm. I got some uh, black walnut shavings. I'm working on the bathroom. Put them in there. I just put it out. Hold on. This will get it ripping. It won't take long to get this baby ripping. Especially with that sawdust and those little bit of cardboard in there. They're all basically just the two by fours that were in that box. There's some plywood I might rip down and get rid of too. Because it's all grease and all nasty. So I'm going to open this up in a couple of minutes. I'm going to close it right now and I'm going to open it in a couple of minutes and show you how good she's ripping. All right, guys, it's been like three minutes. <laughs> I'm going to throw some of this wood in there now, but she's ripping. Doesn't take long. Like I said, a couple Bud Light boxes and some two by fours, and she is ripping. I'm going to throw, I got a cart load of hardwood here. Just mixed hardwood. I'm going to load her right down. Get the shop warmed up. Okay, guys, what I'm thinking right now is about putting some cherry wood in the bottom of this piece and then laying a piece of plywood on top. Uh, the reason is I'm thinking my thought process is, is uh, my thought process here is there was a lot of stress on these areas right here that sat on the frame and that's what cracked it initially so I'm thinking if I put pieces of cherry like this in there and then put a piece of plywood all the way out to the edge of here to here and over here and kind of bolted everything through maybe put some bolts through these right through the bottom 
on each side and kind of sandwich that plywood down in there, I think uh, that's going to be a lot better deal. It's going to be a lot stronger. I think this uh, wood's going to take a lot of the stress off those cross members. And then I don't really like how this is set down in here either because I think it's just going to be like a catch-all for stuff. So I think you kind of want to have this flatter anyways. So that's what we're going to do. I got this piece of cherry is a little bit short. Actually stinks because it's exactly the right thickness. I feel like I just might have to run it through the planer once. But I got all this cherry over here. This is like some stuff I milled up. Um, I did that um, a cherry timber frame. And this is just some wood that I got left over. It's a little bit on the thick end. So I'll have to plane it down, but no big deal. I think I'm going to cut one of them up and try to fill that in with cherry, like I said. And this is the old shelf here. So I think I can just reuse that, put that right down on top after I put my cherry board in, put the plywood right on top. And like I said, I'll through bolt it. I could through bolt right through the whole thing and that would really hold it nice. So that's what I think I'm gonna do right now. Um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like as I go here. Stay tuned. Okay guys, change of plan. Uh, I didn't really find the right pieces of cherry that I wanted without wasting a bunch of it, plus it's cherry. So I found a piece of white pine that I had stashed. It is exactly nine and three quarters right now. So that's gonna work and it's good and thick. It's got room to plane it down because I only need about seven eighths probably. And this bad boy is like an inch and a quarter anyways. So I can plane that down and put it in there and it's long enough to get two pieces out of it so i can cut it to length plane it down stick it in there put my plywood on top and all's good so that's what i'm gonna do Well, there they are, guys. Um, I didn't even have to rip them down. They were good just like they were at nine and three quarters. So they fit pretty good. I got them just a touch above that. So when I put the plywood down, it'll kind of smoosh them down a little bit, which should stiffen the floor up of this box, like I said, where there was some weak points. Uh, it never ceases to amaze me how much um, sawdust you can make or planer shavings when you plane something down. That's what we ended up with. Good pile there. I'll probably burn most of it in the wood boiler, but I got to clean that mess up and get my plywood ready and see how that's going to fit on the bottom. But that's what we got so far. All right, guys, this is what I come up with so far. Um, I, you seen me put the bottom piece in. I used two pieces that I had. Well, I like that zip panel so much that I went up to the hardware store and bought two more, or bought one more sheet and made two more shelves here. So now I got the three shelves. They sit on these aluminum pieces that are part of the box. So I kind of like how this turned out so far. 
I'm not sure if I want to put any more support in the middle maybe but I'm not sure if I want to section these boxes off I want at least one box so that it goes all the way through so I can put um, come alongs and shovels and stuff in so I'm not sure if I'll leave the upper one open the whole way and maybe put a divider piece in between here and here I'm not sure that would actually give it more strength but honestly I don't really think this is moving at all and I could put a little strip of wood here just to make it a little stiffer but I don't really think there's going it's going anywhere so I might just might just leave it like that I might just paint it up and I could fit a lot of stuff in there just as is it's got a lot of room and I'll have to maybe put some self tappers or something in through here down into that that's just a piece of box aluminum it's not solid we weren't sure if it was solid but it's not it's hot it's a hollow piece of tubing so I could run a self tapper right down in here on the edges right into it and I got to kind of push the box in here you can kind of see it there's a flex to this box and it kind of bows out like that so I'll have to uh, maybe smush something in between the cab and this gap here to kind of put pressure in while I screw it down once it's screwed it won't move so um, that'll stiffen everything up too but that's where I'm at I think it, it's coming out pretty good I'm pretty happy with it um, I think that's going to be a lot better than what they had in there for what we're going to use the truck for. We want to, anybody that knows me knows we do concrete work and um, light excavation work. So that's going to be good for shovels and come alongs. And I could put my laser in there and stuff like that. So, and uh, it's just going to work out good for me. So I'll uh, probably tear it all apart and paint everything. Probably gonna use that gray paint, like the box there. It's tractor and implement paint, um, Magic brand. So I'll probably paint everything with that, sand it down a little bit, paint it. And uh, that's that. Stay tuned, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. That's what I'm doing with the planer shavings. Nice little winter burn here. Burn them shavings any time of year. Alright guys, I got the shelves out of the dump truck toolbox. And I got a cigar roller and some exterior paint. Which is, this is just going to be a base coat, like a primer. Just to soak in. Just some white paint, exterior white paint that I have laying around. I got these two, which is the bottom piece. And I'm going to paint all these. So I'm going to first put a coat of this white on there, let that dry, and uh, I might use some tractor and implement paint that I got for the final coat, but we'll see. We'll, we'll paint it with something, something durable. Alright guys, I got them all painted. I'm going to put them in the toolbox. Here's the bottom and there's the two top shelves. There's Rowan. Right, Bubby? He's not going to help because he doesn't do anything, do you, bud? There's Clifford, the big red dog. My dump truck. Okay, guys, I got these quarter 20 bolts that are two inches long. Um, they're not quite long enough unless I put a little pilot drill in there. So I got a, uh, what is it? 9 16 9 drill. I got some stainless hardware, stainless washer, and uh, putting a washer on there. Like that. Putting her down in there. I already drilled my holes. Let's give it a little tap. Kind of nice because it sets it down. Kind of down below the surface. 
like that one. Then you've got room to get a nut on there, like this side. I'm gonna put like eight screws. I'm gonna put one there, there, there's four along each side, the eight screws, just to hold it, kind of stiffen everything up. Well guys, this is the one I've been looking for, the last screw of the shelf project. Okay guys, there is the shelves in all their glory. They were kind of tough getting, that, especially that top one getting up in there and putting those, uh, there's 10 screws in there, 10 self of these self-tapping screws. But it stiffened it up pretty, a lot actually. These sidewalls were very flimsy. You could push them in and out. So I actually stuffed some uh, rags in behind here to hold it in um, between the cab and the box. These gaps here, I stuffed a towel wedged in there and then uh, that pushed it in so there wasn't a bow going this way. And then I was able to get the screws in there and it's all painted up so it'll be somewhat durable. They're pretty sturdy too. I think I can put anything I need in there. Shouldn't be an issue. I was going to put some dividers and stuff in there, but I think leaving it just wide open is the best way to, you can put the most versatile with my stuff. Put my laser level in there, my, all my hand tools, rake, shovels, any concrete tools, toolboxes, stakes, you know, ground stakes that we use. It'll get beat up, but it's a dump truck. Right, Ro? Ro? Hey, Rowan, what are you doing? Relaxing and chilling, bub? Hey, buddy. You're a good boy. You helping dad? Nah, not helping dad, but I'm just here for support. 